So in this video we're going to show you just how easy it is to make observations through the school's observatory. Step 1. Register. To make any observations through the school's observatory you will need to be registered on the website and you can register just using the link at the top of the page. Step 2. Log in. You'll also need to be logged in to take observations, so once you're registered, simply click the login button at the top of the page, enter your details, and then you should see at the top of the page it switches to your account name. Step 3. Head to Go Observing. So Go Observing menu is at the top and if you click just on the top icon there it will take you to the main page. You can see there's some other options underneath which we'll come back to. And when you click on Go Observing, you should see this interface and it tells you all about the different things that you can observe in the night sky. So galaxies, stars, planets, the moon, you can choose the object you want to observe. So step four, select your object. For this video, I'm going to select the moon. And you can see we've got some different options on what we'd like to observe. The little icons with the pencils show you that these observations connect to an activity that we have. Um, otherwise you can just click on the big picture of observe the moon, um, select that and this is just going to take a, an image for us. When I click on there you can initially see that the moon is looking dark. <laughs> That's just because we're in the new moon phase at the time that I'm taking this video. If it was a full moon you'd be able to see the whole thing lit up. So you can click on the area of the moon that you'd like to observe. Um, so I'm just going to make my selection down in this corner. Step 5 is to review your selection. So you can see on this little image here, it's put a circle around the part of the moon that I clicked on. So this is the area of the moon we're going to take the observation of. See also this bar at the side that we call the observation chance bar. Um, and you can see the key underneath. So right now, because we're in this new moon phase, it's dark and that relates to a poor chance of observing. And as we go forward into the month, the chance gets better and better to observe my particular part of the moon. Now, because the telescope is going to try for a month, I'm not too worried about this. Um, if I did want to change the time that the observation started being taken, I can do so through this option. But um, I'm happy that within the next month, this image will be taken. Step six, hit submit. So if you scroll to the bottom of this page, you'll see there's the button to submit observations. As soon as you've clicked that, this observation is now going to get sent to the telescope. And you can see you're given a unique ID. You can click on that ID to see um, what you've requested. It tells us that currently the program has been checked out. You can just uh, review all of the selections that you made. Step seven, check any time. So anytime you want to check the status of your observation, you can go to the My Observations section, undergo observing, and you can see the selection that I've just made has been submitted to the system. And um, one that I made just over an hour ago has already been sent to the telescope. If I decide I don't want those observations anymore, I can delete them. Or if I decide actually I want to take um, the same section of the moon that I did a few months ago, then I can click the resubmit button and it will do it directly from this My Observations page. Step 8. View direct in browser. So once your observation is back, you can see that the status changes to view image. And all I have to do is click on that button. Um, I get some information about the observation and when I click on the view image tab, it opens directly into Astrolab through the browser. You don't have to go anywhere else. Step nine, start exploring. So once your observation's back and you can open it in Astrolab, you're free to have an explore and see what different features you can find on the surface of the moon.